السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طلبة المرحلة الأولى أعزاء today we will talk about unit 7 and also about unit 8 so let's start with unit 7 in unit 7 we have two topics لدينا موضوعان الموضوع الأول which is grammar and the second one which is reading and speaking so let's talk about the grammar we have first topic is real and unreal tense usage right Right. Yes, let's start with the grammar. Here we have with seven real and unreal usage of tense. What do you mean by this? Right? Now let's come to the number one. Which sentences describe possible situations and highlight the mumkina aimin jumal atiya tasab highlight the mumkina in the real world in Alam Which describe in the real ones? If I go to the gym straight from the office, I forget all about work problems. This is unreal, right? So you have to solve the problems. B, if you decide you want to join a gym, I will take you to visit mine. C, if there was a gym near my house, I would join it. D, I would have gone to the gym today if I hadn't been so tired. What is the real <coughs> situation? What is the real situation in the real examples? How do the tenses in those examples reflect the reality? Number two, look at other examples of unreal situations. What is the reality? What tenses are used? I wish I didn't live here if only I hadn't moved. So, intense number one, right? Simple past and model basic. I wish you would speak more slowly. Suppose you got help. It is time, right? It's time you got some health insurance. He talks as if he knew everything. I would rather Harry didn't come to my party. Which two of these uses of which are correct? Correct the wrong ones. I wish you would be taller. I wish I had blonde hair. I wish I would find a better job. I wish you would stop talking so much. Right? Now let's come to the second slide. Talk about the mixed conditionals. Jumal Shafiya man. In zero, first and second and third conditional sentences, Jumal zero, the first, second and third conditional sentences, both clauses elevated are often in a set pattern of al-anamat al-present al-madara or past or madi or future mustaqbal. However, Mixed conditionals can contain various combinations of time periods. Right? Now let's come to this example. If you would read the instructions, you wouldn't be finding it so hard to use. If you would read you had to read past here the instructions you wouldn't be finding it so hard to use this present right now stand present <coughs> I would take you to the airport tomorrow if my car hadn't broken down could you read an applicator mother then if my car hadn't thrown تتعطل أو يحصل عطل معين في سيارتي right so the summary of these slides ملخص هذه السلايد هذا يتحدث عن الحالات الحقيقية والحالات غير الحقيقية لاستعمال الزمن this is number one slide number two يتحدث عن الجمل الشرطية في أزمنة مختلفة right اللي هي past or present 
and then future and then past okay now let's come to the second part of this unit unit seven which is reading reading and speaking here we have very let's say very lovely and very positive passage for you okay so we have here seven ways to make yourself happier right so let's come them one by one first we have to read let us read this uh, short uh, lines and then we'll come to the uh, to the come to other ways number one be kind to yourself self criticism has it has it is used with the on the whole it is a better to be a bit too self-critical rather than not self-critical enough but when that voice in your head goes on and on about your feelings right ولكن إذا كان هذا ولكن إذا ما يكون هذا الصوت الذي في داخلك يستمر ويستمر عن الفشل المستمر هذا you don't need to challenge it لازم تتحدى هذا الصوت let us face it if someone else were was constantly and sufficiently critically critical of our behavior as we ourselves can be we would tell them to pack off Remind yourself that you are doing your best and you are only human. And tell that voice that you would be able to take its criticisms more seriously if it had ever acknowledged, acknowledged some of your good qualities. Be kinder to others. Okay, it is easier to forgive if you remember that generally people know not what they do we often judge people us harshly to make ourselves feel better but it actually sucks all the joy out of our relationships okay and now let's move to the second one the second way to be happier don't compare your insides with other people's outsides right now let's come to this these these lines and try to understand these words this is often one of the main reasons we are so hard so we did them on our service we think other people are managing their lives so much better than we are. I think that the people who are doing their lives are not the best way to live their lives. But you never know, you don't know evidence, what is really going on behind the person that other people project. And you have probably seen the shock others often show if you reveal to them how you really feel inside. You might think all those confident people in that meeting out or wouldn't be singing your praises now if they would be known how actually you were feeling at the time right هذا يتحدث عن عدم مقارنه ما بداخلك مع مظاهر الناس الخارجيه right we ask positive psychology expert uh, expert to share their favorite inside and to what makes us unhappy and how we can bring more joy into our life all right now let's come to the third way happy people don't have more they just appreciate what they have uh, they don't have more ladies say they make it well I can feel a drone am I in the right consumer Capitalizing encourages us to focus on what we don't have it. It can be good or to have our expectations raised, but there is a formula that states that happiness reality minus expectations. If 
constant, uh, constant advertising makes us wise, make us wish we had things that we have no realistic chance of getting. The end result is unhappiness. They say you don't miss what you don't know. If only you hadn't seen that sold out pastadish on the restaurant, right? Hanaf ملخص هذا lines ملخص هذه السطور يتحدث عن الناس التي ليس لديهم الكثير ولكنهم يقدرون ما لديهم, right? This is the summary, right? So now let's come to the fourth one, fourth way, how to be happier, stop procrastinating, how many things are there in the back of your mind that you need to do, but haven't done. How long have you been meaning to fix that broken door or apply to that email? Notes, what an nagging burden, these must do are at some level no time to do them but how long could you some of them really take right feel how tiring it is to have them hanging over you and remember that energy left you get when you finally cross something off your do it list just do it are there big changes in life you have been pissing off maybe you are afraid you to create them but we regret failing to do things more than we regret having done them at least we then learn from things going wrong which is better than rising over what might have happened if we had done something and anyway our worries about negative outcomes are usually exaggerated let yourself be pessimistic and imagine the worst that could happen couldn't you get over it? Right? How did it work out in the last year? No, it couldn't. It was Right? Right. Now let's come to the fifth one. Tariqa Rab Khamisa to come heavier. Where is your mind? How much of the time is our mind focused on the past or future? Kim al Waqt na hamar kizin fi al maari wa mustaqbal rather than here and now even looking forward to something a lot seem positive can take us away from pushing up happiness of the present moment as the musician helen put uh, puts it waiting for anything to happen worrying that something may or wishing that something had not happened or will not happen right Yes, steals from every precious moment we are living now and now and now and forever. Try simple mindfulness exercise for becoming present. Sit upright and relax your body from your feet to your head. Then listen to the sounds around you. You'll find yourself either listening to the constant, yes, constant turn um, in your head instead. Uh, busy with the past and the future, or really listening to the sounds and becoming still and present. Right? This is talking about mind. Okay, now let's come to the sixth one. Life is not meant to be easy. This is true. Life is not meant to be easy. Life is about battle. You have to win it, but it must be mentally strong. People often complain about their problems as if they shouldn't exist as if having a problem is a reason for a suburb and to right? It begins with the line, life is difficult, it sounds gloomy but the book explains that once we truly accept the fact that life is difficult, it stops being so because we see problems as natural and actually as opportunity for, uh, for us in the number where and it is people who will not accept this that make their life miserable right and i had that one had that sale when that john doesn't at the couple and we had so over here just in had it had where we are the level in the couple be a system since the last minute and knowledge 
ويكون الصعوبة هي جزء من الحياة right? والناس الذين لا يتقبلون هذه الحقيقة يعيشون حياتهم بطريقة مزربل مع التعيسة right? Alright, now let's come to this uh, seventh one, seventh way, طريقة السابعة. Uh, if you get plenty of exercise, it will make to make you feel great. This is true for right now. Now let's come to the explanation of this statement. Yes, as you know that when you do some exercises that you'll get some uh, positive energy will get rid of negative energy from your body your thinking will change from uh, more comfortable and better than the previous time okay yes here now some questions about the previous passage what do you think which device in the text you agree or disagree with why what other advice would you give to people? Advice, look to people to make their lives happier. Is there someone you know or have met who has made you feel more positive about life and how? When were the times you felt happiest in life so far and why? Okay. And. Um, Yes, this is exercise. Uh, complete the sentences with the verbs and uh, on or off. Okay, uh, solve this uh, exercise and uh, choose any word from these words. If you don't know how to answer it, tell me and I will solve this exercise together, right? Now let's come to the unit eight. What do we have here in unit eight? In unit eight, we have to main topics a uh, grammar and also we have number one grammar and also we have reading and speaking in grammar we have relatives and participles relatives matter as my little person as my way of our okay as I can I'm a little person the jimmy from a lot of her we're about to suppose to be here the sorry for our own baby okay now we'll come to this step by step in reading we are speaking we have a life less ordinary okay so now let's come to the first one this grammar yes we have relatives and participles right a defining root clause is essential to the meaning of the sentence and now defining question العبارة غير موصولة غير محددة غير موصولة add extra information تضيف معلومات إضافية right we use who for people who إذا تستخدم هنا للناس and which for objects للأشياء so keep this in your mind right the pronoun we use depends on whether it is replacing subject file or object it could be person or thing shuffles of shape what means the thing that relative clauses are often very located sentences defining relative clause is essential to the meaning of sentence now let's take a look at this example the lady who lives next door is a pilot the lady who lives next door is a pilot. Right? It tells us which neighbor I know for the pilot. Right? An undefined and related clause, add extra non essential to leave non essential it is mainly found in written English in October. A clause comes after the con and can be omitted or can to without affecting the meaning of the main clause. My other neighbor who has my other 
Mabel Joanna Arthur, who has three children, works in publishing. My neighbor works in publishing, and sentinelly has three children. Right? All right, then. Now let's come to the participles. Now, participles, uh, we have ED and ING forms. Present, Mulata, and past participles can be used in many different ways. Number one as reducing the relative clauses, Al-Ibarat, Al-Mansure, after nouns, Ba'd al-Asma, alright? Compare these examples from the text. There are still relatively few women sitting in dog and seat. Women who sit, right? Over three, five hundred pilots employed by British Airways, just two hundred are women, pilots who are employed. Right, معناتها ممكن نقلل العبارات هذه الموصولة reduced معناتها التقليل right okay. now we'll come to the second one as adjective okay. صفات surprised an interesting statistic right to express these ideas تعبر عن هذه الأفكار at the same time because if after and inspired by watching the plane by growing up near Kaidun Airport, she tried to join the rap. Right? Yes, participles and uh, end and ing forms. Okay. Um, we have here reduced relative clauses. The barat al al masoola al alati itim taqlil minha. When participles come immediately after a noun, بعد الاسم, in order to identify or define the noun, متعرف الاسم, they are often reduced. We often leave out. We often leave out who. Which that is plus is are was where before participle. Let's hear the example. Who is that girl waving at us? Who is waving? Most of the guests invited didn't reply. Who were invited? This can also happen with a prepositional phrase, my right? And some adjectives best in support, possible, available. Can you pass me those files with that disk? That are in that disk. Right? Participles as adjectives. Present participles are used to describe actions still happening. They watched the sitting of sun. Past participles are used to describe actions that have happened. Okay, I picked up the broken plate. You may need to remind students that there are key differences between bears of my list. Right? So this is not. Okay, so we uh, participles clauses with the adverbial meanings. We can use the ing or ed form of a verb or a past participle, a clause, which has an adverbial meaning. Clause like this often gives information about time, reasons, or results. Opening her eyes, she could see bright sunlight when she opened. When she opened her eyes, faced with a fine of 440, yes, he sold his house because he was faced. The clauses have similar meanings to non defining related clauses, with which how, how, who, or what, or that. Feeling tired, James went to bed, or James was feeling tired, went to bed. Right? 
So I this is slide just to read it, not uh, not uh, to answer it for the exam. This is just for reading, right? For your information. All right then. Now let's come to the second part of unit eight. We have reading and speaking a lie, place ordinary. Why? This is just uh, image. The this give it as image. I something not uh, that uh, enjoyable, excitable, right? Now let's come to this. Okay. Now let's look why this parade uh, has been. It's watched by soon now we are soon. Right? Now it talks about these two men querying to uh, kids. Uh, right? Toflein, right? Julia, not Toflein. Yes. Okay, as you see, a slow take off. For female pilots. اوكي هذا الملخص يتحدث عن المرأة قيادة كيف تقود طائرة وتكون لديها عائلة وهذا يتحدث وعنوان واضح طبعا ازواج بايسون او ازواج جايسون يتحدث عن المرأة تقود مهنة ومهنة قيادة الطائرة وهذه المهنة تكون مشغولة دائما right في رحلة من بلدين إلى بلد so this is uh, discussion and this details talks about this uh, subject you can't read it uh, by yourself and you can see it right see all these details and if you have any discussion about this passage if you have any comments if you have any question you can send me by email or you can write in the class thank you very much for your listening